Welcome back to the Bidwell Canyon Farm YouTube channel. We are in a bathroom. It's actually my bathroom. And I've lived with this bathroom like this, not this, but close to this for about 11 years. And my wife Leah and I have finally decided to spend a little money and make it better. I'm really excited to dig into this structure here. I know there have been rodents living under and in that space, so that'll be fun. Oh, this mirror is the largest mirror in Northern California, little known fact. Uh, I'll be taking this out of here. I might be putting a window or a door here. There's a beautiful view right behind this mirror. You wonder, like, what was going on in 1989? You know what I mean? Was that a drug-induced build? Was that like, hey guys, I got an idea. I don't know, but we're gonna take it out. Have you ever been in Home Depot so long that you make poor decisions? I don't know if this is one of those, but it might be. I'm making some progress today. All mask up. This is where the claw hammer went through the wall to get the electrical service wire through there. That's what happened. I know an impact when I see it. trap unhooked. I disconnected the plumbing and now we're gonna lift this puppy up and take a look at what lies beneath. I'm a little worried something's gonna hop out but we'll see. You'll notice the vast network of rodentia below the bathtub. Okay, let me try to get this thing out of here. Damn, that is serious, dude. Wow, amazing, eh? Okay, we got most of the rodentia bagged up. One saving grace is we had this tar paper stuff down below, so all the rodent piss, I'm hoping most of it's caught there. We'll see what it looks like when it's all out of here. So here we are underneath the home. This was the pan that was covering up the shower pea trap, which is here. And it looks like the builders of this home, when they were in doubt, they hogged it out. Okay, so I cut the pea trap below here, disconnected all the plumbing connections. There was a bead of caulking, make a cut around that, pried it loose a little bit, and now we're ready to slide that puppy forward and see what's behind door number two. All right, here is our shower scene. I'm gonna clean this up real quick. Hey, what's that? A oh, rock. Cool. Little update, y'all. Replumbed in a new Delta multi choice shower valve, raised the shower head over here. Still need to install my green board on these open locations. There was some black mold stuff going on. I bleached and vinegar and let that dry. Uh, Replumbed the shower drain to match our new shower pan. Ah, uh, what else can I tell you? Back to work. It's not the funnest of jobs to do this, but I don't really have any other way to do it. I, you know, they have those fancy drywall sanders and all that, but I don't have one. So it's what I got, man, it's what I got. And the middle, you know, I soaked everything with my little pressure sprayer deal here. Between the two sheets, you know, that all scraped off super easy. But for some reason, these mid bands were just a bear. It's always the prep work that takes so long and so daunting and you just want to give up. But don't give up. Just 
keep moving forward. A little step every day in the right direction is all you need, just a little progress. And if you can keep making a little bit of progress, you will succeed, you will make it to your goal. And my goal right now is to finish this last little bit of plumbing. So I'm gonna get under the house and check out what's going on under there. What I've done is installed this new plumbing leg to service the new vanity that's going over here. We've got our heat coil going up in a conduit into that thermostat box powered off the GFI. I rerouted the vent up through the wall and I plumbed in the clawfoot tub plumbing and redid that. So now I can seal this floor up. You can see how absolutely disgusting it is underneath this home, but that's a whole nother day. At least we've cleared what was under the shower. There's the new sheetrock and this, if you recall, the Rodentia doom scene that was underneath the old tub. That was absolutely horrific and scary. But now we're cleaned up and I'm going to seal this for good so we're never going to have any of this coming up through the floor. All right, let's do it. Fill this up with some thin set now. This is a modified thin set mortar. Try not to snap anything off of the fiberglass and get it in position. So you can see our laser is just touching there, but that back corner is up high a little over there is right on this section here. So I just need to tap that side down. That's pretty darn good. That could come down about a 30 second, but I'm not gonna complain about that. Now the rubber gasket goes on the outside of the ABS and down in this drain body. Then you have this little white component using none other and this little tool, which, my friends, you do not want to drop down into your P-trap. I know this because I've done it. And it sucks. You can take a beefy flathead and give that rubber gasket a nice little tighten up. Okay, I got my helper. We are putting down the Dietra heat membrane. We have this piece going in next, and we're letting our thin set slake off a little bit. Looking good. Shower pan is set. Really excited about having the tall shower head, finally. That'll be nice. Just giving a pre-sponging, kind of moisten the floor. We have all the DITRA heat membrane installed. So I started putting in the heat coil. I'm on a 3-3 spacing, and I'm just kind of working it in with my hands. You can get a wooden trowel and push it in, but I kind of like just going through. I've got this hot glued. You have to remove a portion of your DITRA membrane and hot glue your coupler that comes from your conduit into your heat coil right there. And you want to maintain a spacing between, like over here for instance, between the shower pan. You want three pegs spaced out there. I'm just going to keep cruising. Okay, we've got the heating element installed and the two thermostats. So right in front of the shower, right when you walk in, in front of the vanity will be nice and warm, in front of the bathtub, in front of the toilet will be just dialed in.
Okay, my next step is to put the hardy backer on the sheetrock. But first, I'm gonna run a bead of this Sika Flex around the rim here to not only waterproof it right here at the wall, but give that hardy backer a waterproof seal when it sits down on this shower surround. Gorilla Max Strength Construction Adhesive Clear. got our two coats of red guard on our hardy backer we're looking at some different patterns maybe the herringbone would be cool got our clawfoot tub plumbed in fired up that's ready to go got our vanity plumbed in fired up ready to go sweet little mowing faucet has like the california low gallons per minute deal but i love the matte black gonna put a nice mirror Got the bidet, the new toilet. You could send seven billiard balls down that puppy right there. So it claims, I mean, I'm not gonna shoot them into the septic tank. No way, no how, broskies. Anyway, all right, that's the progress. Oh, and a new window, new texture. Look at the view out here. Wow, so good. Bedroom's still a disaster. All the tools have just been shuffling in and out. I just tripped on that vacuum. I'm gonna eat some lunch, that's why I'm carrying a fork. Well folks, the bathroom remodel is complete. I am super pumped to be done with that project. It went from being a really wretched space to being one of our most favorite rooms in the house. Without further ado, here is the new bathroom.